saying Happy Father's Day. So I've always loved turtles. They say turtles are around before dinosaurs. And they're the only, I think, the only creature in the world that can actually, you know, live the past 100 years if everything goes well, you know, so. Right. Cutest little guy, isn't he? We also have a bunny here at the house. Now, this bunny belongs to Natalie, my live-in roommate. And um, that's the most cutest little bunny. Uh, that bunny's name is Tyrannosaurus rex. It's a male. Turtle is a female. And it's actually pretty bizarre. Uh, Natalie switches that bunny off with her girlfriend, Mindy. So it stays with Natalie half the time and Mindy half the time. They have joint custody of the, of the little bunny. You know, so now it's Natalie's turn. And it's real cute. They both bought it together. They both love the thing, you know. Um, and uh, easy to own. The little guy just, you know, eats lettuce. Doesn't like carrots, though, which is strange for a bunny. And all kinds of bunny food. It's a very, very attractive bunny. And it's very bizarre. I told Natalie one day, you know, you and I are living in a home that's got a very famous fable. You know, and <laughs> it's bizarre. We actually have a tortoise and a hare living with us. She goes, you're right. I mean, honey, that's the making of a very famous story. We have to take black masking tape in the middle of the, of the carpet, put them up against the finish line, turtle first. If the rabbit wins, it'll change American way of life as we know it. It's got to be the tortoise has to win. That's how the thing works. Because he's, he's slow and steady, you know, wins the race, you see. July 27th, we're in uh, Ron Jeremy's condo. This is not a storage facility. This is Ron's house. I think Ron's tendency to was very indicative of someone in a, a state of Ron's condo was a disaster. It was a disaster. This is Ron's living room. It was literally unlivable. And it just got worse and worse. And then for the last several months when he was free, he wasn't even living in his condo. He moved across the street to the motel where Janis Joplin died. He was also paying other women to live there just to have people around him. Hi, this is Ron Jeremy. You're listening to Porno Sonic.